My name's Robert with Web Develop Ninja, and today I want to talk with you about something a little different that uh, I normally go over on this channel, and I want to talk with you about how you make money with web design as um, kind of like a maybe a part-time thing, or maybe you're going to be a full-time um, freelance web designer. I want to talk with you about how you go about getting work and some maybe some pitfalls to try to avoid um, as you try to make money entrepreneurially with your web design uh, talent and skills that you've worked up. So the first first thing I want to talk about is how you go about getting work. And I would say one of the best ways to find work is, and it's a little scary at first, especially if you're new to it, is I would say cold calling. So you, what you do is you go to Google and I would start locally because it's, it is a lot easier, I have found, to land the bigger deals where you're making more money on websites if you actually can go in person and uh, shake their hand and actually I, I think it builds a stronger relationship and it allows you to uh, quote more. So what I would say is go and look at, find a specific niche. So maybe outdoor, like lawnmowers, um, weed whackers, that, that anyway, you want to find people who sell that kind of equipment. So you go to Google, you type in lawnmowers in your area, say Indianapolis, Indiana. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Google and I would say um, the first people on the first page of Google they're probably going to have a good web presence, probably a good website, but definitely take a look at them. But go to page two, three, and start and, and, and find the websites that are like when you go to them, it's like eh, and that's it's not good. Maybe it's not responsive. Um, maybe it's got blinking text or just some horrible features from the '90s. Anyway, you want to find these people that are that have these websites that need re redone, and you just call them up, and it's. Um, Something to really avoid. This is where I would say a pitfall is, was and one that I went down and probably wasted a lot of times and kind of pissed people off. So don't go in and call them and say, hey, I'm with Web Developer Ninja. Uh, I saw your website on Google and it is god awful. That does never, it never works. Even if their website is completely, completely horrible and it has blinking text in flash, you can't tell them that your website sucks. Um, I pissed off a lot of people and it doesn't, it's not a good way to go about phone sales in this kind of aspect. The other approach which does work is, so you call up and um, you're, gonna, you're a lot of times gonna get the receptionist. So I'll, I'll kind of go through what like what our pitch was. So get the receptionist and say, my name's Robert with Web Developer Ninja. Um, I saw that your website was, it was looking good. Maybe your, your website ranking wasn't that great. Can I speak to the person who is in charge of your website? We are a local web design company and we can really help you move forward with your web design website presence. And a lot of times uh, the receptionist is, is very friendly and they'll just transfer you to the person who's in charge of the website. And here is where, what you want to do instead of telling the owner or whoever that their website's horrible. You want to ask them questions about their goals and you want to get them talking. So. The first thing I would do is say, hey, how's, how's your website working for you right now? Are you getting leads from your website? And a lot of times these people will say, no, I'm, I'm paying this agency so much a money, uh, month of money, or so much a month, and I'm not really seeing the return on investment. I get phone calls once in a while and a lot of spam from whatever, so it's, it's not really working for them. And that, you, that is their pain point. And when you go call these places, you're not selling them a website. And that's something that took me a while to get out of my head is you're not selling them a website, you're selling them a way to get more leads or to do X for them, a goal or, or whatever for them. So pay attention and say maybe they're like, um, we're not getting getting very good local search engine optimization. Uh, that's, that's my pain point right now. And then that's where you go in with, hey, okay, so... Um, what are you doing to improve your SEO? And then they're going to say, well, we're not really doing anything. We have the stack site. And that's when you can say, well, how about why don't I go into your website and I'm going to give you an audit, fix issues that are wrong with your website SEO wise, maybe adding alt tags, images, whatever. And then I'm going to get you on a plan that's going to be um, setting up a blog or adding continuous content to the website so your local SEO improves. And that is the way you get in the door with these people that already have the website. And once you start having a little bit, little bit of success with them, um, then they'll start to trust you. And then if you want to sell them a full-blown website, maybe um, charge them quite a bit more work to get, get more value, it, it makes the process much easier. So I would say big pitfall to avoid that's wasted me a lot of time and 
Um, pissed off a lot of people. Don't tell them their website sucks. You want to ask questions, goals, moving forward. Um, really, the other tip too, hit the phones. I, I think because the thing is, the only other thing I would say is hit the phones as is going in person to places. I've I've had a lot of success um, actually just walking around, walking into businesses and say, hey, I'm a local web design company. Um, we do this, this, this. And the same same concept as the phone sales. You say, what what are your goals with your online presence? What are your goals with your website? And that's how you get the, the communication going. And um, while you're at this, while you're doing this, keep this in the back of your mind because it's, it's true and it's slightly painful. It's going to take a lot more communication than you you think at first to get a sale or get something done. You ne- I mean, it's not going to happen where you're going to walk in first time and be like, hey, I'm going to get this sale for a $5,000 website. It's not going to happen. But you go in there, you drop off a pamphlet. Maybe you go in there a week, a month, maybe a week, but a month later, and you get you go in there on a repeti- repetition basis. They start to get to know you, and that's how the deals come to come to happening. So that's my tips and kind of pitfalls as a, a web designer trying to make some money. If you want more information and uh, more web design business tutorials, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna keep making more videos. Thanks.